so um, this is going to be a puppy haul for our puppy that we haven't got yet. Um, but he's um, he's a little cockapoo. He's going to be eight weeks when we get him, and we can't wait, can we, Gracie? Mm -hmm. um, and I've really enjoyed watching these kind of videos before, obviously before we got him. So I'm going to show you what we've got. It might help you if you're buying one or know they're just they're just fun to watch aren't they so um i can't remember prices for everything but if i can remember prices and where i got it from i'll tell you anyway so to start with i got this super absorbent pet towel which was from b&m and it's 350 so that's going to be handy for like bathing you know when we're drying him or if we've been on a walk and he's wet whatever you know just a handy towel that's super absorbent i've got a few bowls i got this bowl which I thought was really cute. And that's going to be for his water, because obviously when they're puppies, they can knock it easily and stuff. So that's quite, that's like a, what do you call it? Pot, whatever. Porcelain, I don't know. Um, that was from, was that B&M? I feel like it was. And they're pets at home. B&M. It's on there. <laughs> These are pets at home. Oh, I got him a little tag that was from eBay or Amazon. Um, and it's got like a bump around so it doesn't make that jingly noise. Um, obviously, I'm not going to show you my number and that, but yeah. But it says that he's chipped and if he's lost, ring this number. So that's good. And then I got two of these because I really like them. These are from Pets at Home and these are for his food. Um, and it says live long and prosper in it. And I think they were £5, but I think they were in the sale when I got them. Um, but these are like... Well, I don't know if they're metal as such, but they're a bit like that. They're not, basically, because we've got tiled floor in the kitchen, they're not going to break if we drop them. Whereas this one, this one would, but I needed one that was quite sturdy for water. So, and I thought the ochre colour, it sort of all ties in. So that's them. Um, I got this from B&M. Um, it was 2 50 and it's a cooling toy, because obviously we're going to have them in the summer. So I think you fill it with water... Yeah, you fill it with water and put it in the freezer. So it's. I thought it'd be good not only just for cooling and a toy, but for teething, you know, when they're biting and that. So you can also freeze carrots, I've heard, so I'm going to try that as well. But yeah, so I thought that'd be quite cool. I got some Groom Room Puppy Shampoo. Um, Not a lot to say about that. That was from Pets at Home. Just thought that's going to be handy for bathing. we got these little cards. These are not a necessity at all, but I really like them. And basically they're like, you know, the milestone cards for your dog. They were from Pets at Home. I think they were 7 50 but they're just so cute. So we have to get that. Yeah. I got a little harness. Um, I don't know if he's going to have a harness for walking or just a collar. Um, but certainly in the car, I think I will use this with the seatbelt that I've got. Um, this is Pets at Home, £4. I got it in extra small, but I don't know if it'll fit in when we get him or not. It might still be a bit big, but it's only a cheapish one. So. I got some of this. Um, I don't know what this is like. We Away. Um, it's an RSPCA one. I think I got it in B&M, and I think it was only like a pound or two. But I just thought, I'll get that because, you know, it's handy to have. But I have got a lot of carpet cleaners and that anyway. So, but yeah, I thought I'll get that. I mean, to be honest, I got really carried away with shopping. I got a little toothbrush and toothpaste so that to get used to him to having that done. And also I thought Gracie would enjoy doing that, brushing his teeth. I'm trying to go fast because we've got so much. I love that. I got this. And I can't remember where I got this from, but it's like um, a microfiber bath mat, but it is a pet one, but I thought it might be good for the crate. Oh, B&M. But it is like in the pet section. So yeah, that's that. Some pet wipes and they're bio biodegradable as well. So that's good. This is off Amazon. I will link it below and I've heard so many good reviews about it. You can get this, you can get different shapes. Like different, there's a white lamb, but I thought white might not be great. But basically it's got a heartbeat in it and it's the size of a litter mate. So when they're in the crate, um, at night or whatever um, it makes them feel like they're back with their mom or their litter mates so I'm hoping this is going to help 
settle him in when he comes, I hope. So yeah. Cross your fingers everyone. By the way, I'm moving on. Um, I got one of these licky mats. I think this was from Amazon. I think it was £6 or £6.50. Where you can spread like peanut butter or any sort of food on there for them to do. Like entertains them. And another idea is to stick it on the side of the bath when you're bathing them. Because it keeps them in that place and it keeps them happy. Licking it while you're like washing them. We got this. That was the duck trumping by the way. We yeah, took this when we went to see him. When we picked him we took this for him to... Put scent on so that the cats get used to him um, so we've had this laying around the house haven't we so the cats get used to his scent hopefully this was from where was this from pets at home that's at home apparently it was some dog doorbells this is from amazon again it's another thing that you know you don't necessarily need it might be a bit gimmicky but i want to give it a whirl so you can potty train you can train them to ring the bells when they need to go out to the toilet so I'm going to put that on the kitchen door and just see what it's like. I've heard a lot of people say that it works for them and that, so we'll see. That's um, not something that will learn straight away. No. This is the um, seatbelt for the car. This was only, I think, 350 or something. Again, I think it was Amazon or eBay. I think it was Amazon. And it's got a bungee thing there, so it's like, you know, there's... It's like it'll take impact if you like so um and i wanted to get pink because everything we're getting is like boyish and i thought boys can like pink too and it's cute so i got pink <laughs> um gracie picked this little toy <laughs> from bnm we've got a few toys i've got a hot water bottle that i might put in the crate with him as well to help settle him put under his sheet to help him think that it's one of his friends um Nyla bone have been going years. I remember when I had my last dog and that she used to have Nyla bones. So that's like a little puppy one to chew. I got this from Pets, no, B&M. This was six pound. It's a giraffe. So it's got all the little crinkly bits, but it's also got like a hard rope bit as well for like teething and whatnot. So I thought that was quite cute. Um, This was 2 50 from B&M, another tuggy toy. This was one of the first things we got before we even knew we were having Teddy. We just started buying dog stuff and Gracie really liked this. We think it's a raccoon and it's from Pets at Home and it's really cute. So, yeah. I've taken the tag off that, but I think that was B&M as well. And then a little, this is like a baby toy, like a little teething thing. Yeah, I might take that. I think, um, I think we got some like in a like a puppy bag from B&M and these things were in there and then I got a bag of little balls as well because obviously when he's little he's not going to be able to get all his his mouth around a big one um I got this from B&M Scooby-Doo ball and it's like quite durable and I think it squeaks as yeah it squeaks as well sorry if I just set your dog off a Kong which you always you have to have a Kong don't you with a dog um, it's a puppy one and I got the squeezy stuff that was very expensive but it's suitable from eight weeks this one there was a cheaper alternative that was 2.99 um, but it was suitable from 12 weeks or something so I got this one or was it suitable from six months it was quite a different in age this was 11 pound or 11.99 from pets at home but I'm only gonna have one of these and then it'll move on to the older ones so it'll be cheaper and you might not even like it anyway. <laughs> um, and I got this from Pets at Home. It was in the sale. It was £9. And I just think it's really cute. <laughs> I got this from Pets at Home. It was in the sale aisle. It's nothing fancy. It's one of the water bowls, water bottles where you pour it in there. And I think it was about a pound, but it was on sale. So, but you can get more expensive fancy ones. But I just thought, you know, it's only, we don't go mountain climbing or anything. But if we're off out on a hot day, it's handy to take. So this was in the sale and it's a little blanket for his crate um, at B&M and it was down to £4 and I thought it matches his bowls as well, the colour. So got some puppy pads from B&M, they were £4.99. Don't need to explain much from there. Um, I got this for Gracie, a, bit, a, little, a little bit of fun, doggy bubbles and their peanut butter scented. That was from B&M, £3.50. An extendable lead, an extendable lead, I think it's 10 metres long, it's like a training lead. Um, that was B&M. Uh -huh. 
I mean, I really didn't need to, but that was B&M as well. £2.50 for when he meets the family and friends. This is another thing we got when, before we knew we were getting Teddy in particular. Um, it's £3, it's a little lead and collar set. It's quite cute. Um, I got these from Amazon. These are biodegradable puppy bags, uh, poo bags, and there's like 270 in there and they're lavender scented apparently, so hopefully that will help. When we've been walking my dad's dog, um, Gracie's been wanting to pick poos up and she's been carrying it and she's like, it stinks. Um, so I thought this might help with that if you've got to carry it for a little bit before you see a bin. If it's lavender scented, it might not be quite so bad. And then we got some wag training treats. These are all a pound. Um, and some tasty minis puppy. Puppy minis. A little bow, little dicky bow, three pound, pets at home. And a bed. This was eight pound from B&M. Um, they had some more expensive ones, but I thought I'm not going crazy and it's nice smaller size. So then if it gets ruined or if he grows out of it, we can get a nicer one when he's a bit bigger, that's more expensive. So yeah, that's it. Oh, oh, and this is another thing I got before we knew we were having him. It's a and little treat bag that like for training, you can put on your belt or whatever. I want to show this one. And I got this off Amazon for Gracie. So it's a um, pup, my puppy journal. And it says in the back, a super cute journal to document your puppy's first year. I think it was about six fifty seven pounds Do you want to just show them? So you can say like who it belongs to. And then it has um, your pet profile. So you can put your pet name, nickname, birthday adoption date and then you've got the basics so like the breed it is the gender the eye color stuff like that um then personality what's its favorite toy what's its favorite treat and then we've got the medicine when it has it and then this this um vaccination so it says the date the age it has it vaccine and the due date um and then the growth and then this you can put anything you want so i might stick i might photocopy the little cards that mum just show you showed you and put it in the photo or just put it there and yeah it's got stuff like that so like first haircut it's got different things in it oh and the main thing is each week um what food it has the it does it have an accident walk trait so how that's gone so yeah bye hope you enjoyed watching that video um we're so excited and we're very excited for you to meet him so thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one bye say bye bye